So with the weather being a bit crappy here all of a sudden, summer's kind of already on its way out in the UK, I decided it'd be a good idea and a good time to do another painting for Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, we're doing Harvey Chandler this time around and the reason we're doing that is because a good friend of mine asked me to do this and sent me a few Japanese cards because you can only get certain cards in common in Japanese rather than in ultra rare for Harvey Chandler, secret rare for Ark Lord Christio or a couple of others. And uh, I really wanted to sort of, you know, show appreciation for the support that he's given me, so Ben, if you're watching, it, it's for you. Um, I really enjoy doing this card, though, to be fair. I actually, you know, a lot more than I thought I was going to, because there's a lot of stark contrasts on this card. There's a black at the top, white at the bottom, and, you know, it's very, very black and white, <laughs> for want of a better term. But there's a lot of subtle colour shifts in it as well, like the purples go from a, sort of like a magenta reddish tone down to a bluish tone before it, when it gets lighter and I really really enjoyed that and I thought it was really good and painting just the extra little feathers over the side and um, I mean you'll see it when it's done and you know obviously you know, as you're watching me while I'm speaking the card isn't finished yet so you have to wait and see until it's done. Um, I do make a couple of mistakes on a lot of the cards actually I, I do like so I, I actually use a toothpick to go over any sort of overpainted lines so if, like, if I go into the borders or anything uh, or if colours not quite come out in the correct way, a toothpick is actually a really good way to get the paint back off again, like an eraser. I mean I'd leave it for like 20-30 seconds before actually using the toothpick to take it off because otherwise it's still really wet and you know you just end up spreading the paint everywhere and it just ends up a horrible horrible mess. Um, but it's a really really good way to uh, just make sure that your lines are straight and things like that. I mean I've had a lot of people sort of mention sort of masking tape over the top of it and while it's probably a good idea I don't have any masking tape to hand and I'm fairly confident in my line painting skills so I mean if you think that I definitely should be picking up more masking tape and things like that then please leave a comment and let me know. Uh, I show the palette off uh, of the colours that I'm using with this painting a fair, fair few times because I think that it's important for people to see the sort of colours that I use and, you know, to be honest, the palette I use, the palette I use is actually just old Yu-Gi-Oh cards because the, the back of them is glossy, or a little bit at least, so at least, you know, the paint doesn't dry straight onto it, like, as soon as it touches the card. Uh, but it's a great way of using old boosters from a booster box or packs that you've bought, and you don't, you know you're not ever going to use them, you know no one's ever going to want them, so it's great use for them as opposed to just chucking them in the bin straight away. Uh, with this card and with a couple of others that I've done, um, white is an absolute pain in the backside for having to do as a stark background. You always want to do sort of, you know, at least mix a tiny pigment of another colour in there just to try and like get the spread on there because otherwise it just doesn't stick to the card and you see the background through it and it just comes out looking nasty. Um, but with the golden fluid paints that I've picked up, I mean, they're brilliant. They, they really are. I mean, I've had a little bit more practice with them now and they're just fantastic and I will never go back now. But, you know, the, the same rule still applies. You still want to try and just do it thin layers, watered down, you know, well, not really watered down because otherwise it won't come out properly, but, you know, you want it just to sort of, you know, a little bit thinner and then you just go over it time and time again until you get that nice sort of clean finish and then that way you end up with what we end up left at the end of this video. So enjoy the video. I'm now on Facebook, so if you want to follow Josepha on Facebook where I'll be updating with my card paintings, uh, the art project that I'm looking at starting, which will be studying narcissism and beauty and perceptions of things like that, and I'm really looking forward to doing that when I have some more free time. Um, video gaming stuff, all sorts of things. So if you want to sort of uh, go and have a look at that, then check out the link just here and um, then we'll go from there and then you can su still subscribe to YouTube and you can still follow me on Twitter and I'd love to see more of you guys so I'm really enjoying all the support I've had so far and keep it coming because I love the attention so I'll speak to you guys later thanks very much bye